just walked in the door finally at 3.20. Well, I've been here about five minutes, but I deserve a drink. And while I have my drink, this is, I'm going to tell you about Dolls of Craziness. It's got foil on it because the cap is broken. Alright. First off, I'll tell you about this. A couple days ago, I was across the street at bought some beer. This guy, um, in the store, he comes out, he's like, hey, bro, hey, bro, come here, man. Uh, you spend all your money on all that beer, man. I got something better for you. He, he selling this stuff out of his trunk, right? He had all kinds of bottles. He had some good shit, too. I mean, I, I don't even remember what it was, but some shit that he said was worth, like, $100 a bottle. And it looked pretty fucking fancy. Anyway, I'm like, man, I just bought this big-ass cube of beer. Um, I got, like, three bucks left. I'm sorry. But that is very tempting. He's like, oh, hold on, man. Three bucks. Oh, I got something for you. Give me this fifth of, or a pint of Seagram's uh, extra smooth vodka. Um, it's only half full, but I didn't drink the first half, and it has nothing to do with what he sold me. He sold me a perfectly sealed bottle. I had it in my freezer, right, where it belongs, and, uh, I was doing something. I opened up the freezer, fell out on the floor, cat busted open, the light was off, it was completely dark in here, I'm like, oh, fuck, sorry, we're out here, turn the light switch on, and just pick it up, and that's how much, that's how much was left. It's, yeah, not quite half one. Anyway, so I'm about to have me a drink. My Gat Gatlinburg glass. Ew. Kind of gross. Anyway, now I'm going to tell you why I deserve this drink. Because work all day. Fucking. I work in between an alcohol bar that rednecks go to and a hookah bar that Arabs and people of the Muslim persuasion go to, and, man, when they get to fucking mixing, it's never a good situation, as a matter of fact, the cops were out tonight, both places, the, uh, hookah bar guy, he was getting written tickets, I'm sure it was for underage people being in his hookah bar, um, here's the underage people in a hookah bar. nice. So anyway, we don't have any orders at this time because we're slow, so slow, no deliveries. We're just sitting out front, hookah bar on the left, redneck bar on the right. And we're like neutral territory. Sometimes it gets fucking annoying, but tonight, for real, they didn't fuck with us. Me and our little, corley, our little crew, um, man, that was good. Our little crew was standing out there just smoking cigarettes watching all this happen, right? And so they're over there writing the hookah bar guy tickets. And then the bar people are over here. They're all, you know, rubber necking. And eventually, you know, all the bouncers come out the bar. And they go tap the cops on the shoulder and be like, Hey, you know, I know you're doing what you're doing over here, but when you get a minute, we need you over here at the bar. <laughs> so th and then they go over to the bar. Everyone's all filing, and it's just dead silent. Like, you could hear a cigarette butt drop on the ground. It was that quiet. And, you know, as the cops were walking over to, you know, the group of... You can't smoke in bars in Ohio. So the group of people stand out front smoking at the fucking Redneck Bar. It's, um... Anyway, they just... Everyone just stops. Um, this other couple, you know, regular-looking couple, goes over to this part on the wall right next to me, and they just sit down on the ground. And I'm like, what? Uh -huh. And then the cop walks up to them and, uh, you know, hassles the guy and searches him, find his bowl and his weed, and they take him to jail. And I've seen it happen. Like, five feet to the right, I'm sitting there smoking cigarettes, like, 
Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, here's the drink to that guy who fucking got put in jail for having weed in a bowl in an alcohol bar on a Saturday night, which probably wasn't the smartest move, but still bullshit that that's what he was, that he has to go to jail for that. So here's to you, random strange guy that got arrested five feet to my right. Anyway, right before that, when they were still talking to the hookah bar people, God, I need to chase that. Nothing better to chase it with. So when they were talking to the hookah bar people, this one hookah bar guy came over and he was talking to us for a second. He's like, yeah, man, that's the cop that, you know, they, they chased us out of the park tonight because, you know, you're not apparently not allowed to be there after dark. I'm like, yeah, man, in this country, you're not allowed to be in parks after dark. <laughs> I, don't know. I didn't say in this country, but, you know, maybe that's not something he's accustomed to. I don't know, but they got chased out of the park, I guess, earlier tonight. And then he was trying, they were, like, trying to convince the cop not to give the hookah bar owner tickets or whatever. And the cop was, like, getting loud with him, too. He was like, I chased you out of the park, and I told you that. You need to sit down before I take you to jail. All this and that. And I don't remember every detail of it, but that was a good part of it. So that was my night at work. When I should have been taking deliveries. There were none. Alright, and after work, went to Kroger's, two, three, four, five of these packs of sparklers, right? Five pieces, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, sixty, ninety, hundred twenty, hundred fifty, hundred and fifty sparklers. Guess what's going on with that? It's a video in the making. Thanks for listening about my day.